Good evening, this is Dr. Lamar on our first webinar on chiropractic. I've been practicing for 30 years as a chiropractor, so this is the easy part for me. Um, 25 as a nurse and 20 as an acupuncturist. And I want you to understand as I developed as a practitioner, I followed the changes in healthcare. Um, the olden days, you went to the doctor and he would tell you what to do. And as times are changing, we have to be more informed and we want our practitioners to be more developed. And that's what I try to do with the practice and try to teach people about the value of chiropractic. There's three types of doctors, mechanical, chemical, surgical. I'm the mechanical guy. You need the surgical guys and thank God we have them, but we don't want to see them that often. And the chemicals, yeah, you need God faster. So the, the value in there is really high, but you really need all three. And in today's in healthcare environment, understanding the value of your physician and using them appropriately for your healthcare is paramount. You're in control of your, your own destiny. You're in control of your health. It used to be you worked for a company and they would give you a retirement. And we all see how that's gone to a 401k. And I think sometimes in healthcare, we're seeing the same things. We're seeing this physician too specialized and not giving you the value and then the guidance that you need. So you have to become educated. And the goal of the webinar is to promote healthcare, not crisis intervention, and to use it as an ongoing resource. I'll have this on my website and we'll have it on YouTube that you can go back to it. And, and I'm here with Mr. Walker, my assistant. Hello, everybody. He's, he's always around and you guys know him. Um, we're here all the time. Anytime during the, the day or the week you call and you say the, the name Mr. Walker, we'll give you some information that'll be paramount for your health. We also have little gifts for you too, because we want you to be kid, become educated. We want you to understand what we're doing, what we're offering, what all physicians should be offering. We all work for you. It's not socialized medicine. You come in, you pay us. And, and, that, and I'm really passionate about the understanding that you should get what you're paying for, not just brushed aside or said you're you know, hypochondriac and you don't understand. You can understand and that's what we're trying to do is teach you what we do. So what is this whole idea of chiropractic? Chiropractic is understanding that the manual part of the body, when we look at old people, most of them don't do manual medicine and they can't walk. They can't function on their own. They need assistance. You don't have to have assistance. You can, you can understand that I have to take care of my body. I don't believe in maintenance care. I don't believe this, that you can maintain your body in terms of the youthfulness of it, in terms of being 21. You're following the normal care as your body ages. Zero to 20, you grow. 20 to 30, you mature. 30 on, you start changing. And changing or declining. So you want to do the care that's appropriate exercise in a, a somebody below 20 is to develop a body. You want to develop the strongest, healthiest body that you can. So we're using exercise to develop the body. In somebody who's 30, we're going to turn exercise to rehabilitation. We're going to find out what the problem is and from there, fix it. Use exercise, use therapy, use chiropractic to help develop a healthier body so that you don't ache or complain or need medicines as you age right? So did you know that chiropractic is not uh, a new thing? It's been around for the beginning of time, the idea of manual medicine. Up until World War II, there was no real medicines. They used colloidal silver and they used some other things and they had surgical procedures, but a lot of the physicians had a manual component. After World War II, when they got the prescription started and they started using more medicines, they lost or dropped the manual component. That's when they came up with physical therapists. The chiropractors have been based in the understanding that manipulation or movement of body affects the body not only in a mechanical way for the bones, ligaments, and tendons, but also affects the nervous system. And that's the big thing today. We want you to understand that the adjustment does more for the nervous system than just the frame. The frame or the posture is a reflection of the health or quality of your body at that time, but the nervous system, that's what we're trying to attack. We're trying to adjust the vertebra 
to reduce inflammation, to get a better expression of the body's health. I don't believe that as you age, you should get worse. I think that's too old fashioned. I think as we age, we can facilitate better health by using manual medicine and some of the functional medicines to maintain the high quality of our bodily functions. Yes, it's gonna change over time, but I don't think it has to be as dramatic as we see today. Do I, do I need a chiropractor? My answer is yes. I think everybody needs a chiropractor because everybody has a spine. I also recommend dentists for people who have teeth. So the idea is you're going to a physician, the mechanical guy, to ensure that you're gonna maximize your function and minimize your instabilities. Arthritis is wear and tear. You don't have to develop arthritis. You have better alignment, better tone to the tissues, good nutrition and hydration. You can avoid arthritis. A lot of things you can avoid. A lot of the things that we have today that are old age or add to old age are induced by what we're doing in terms of sitting at the computer or eating McDonald's or a lack of exercise. Trauma can produce some changes in the body with arthritis, but we can minimize them. We all grew up with scars from falling off our bikes and we can point to them, but as we age, they get smaller and that's what we wanna do. We wanna have little effects on our body that are minimized so we can express the best health possible and as a chiropractor, I'm gonna take that functional component and turn it into that nerve component. And as we age, that's the bigger component. Preventive care. I don't like this term. I, I think there's normal care. The idea behind it, again, you wanna determine where you're at in the growth cycle. Zero to 20, we grow. 20 to 30, we mature. 30 on, we start changing. So where are you in that life cycle? You're gonna need certain things to be happening. You're gonna to have to exercise harder when you're younger to develop a better body. You see the athletes, they come in and they, they're buff and they're, they're physically strong and their muscle tone is tight. And as they age, if they don't create the flexibility, because as we age, we dry, then they're gonna to start to wear apart the body. The stronger the motor, the more the damage. So that's what we see the athletic body. And again, most of you guys that have come into the office know I'm not a size guy. I don't think just because you're larger, you're, you're more infirmed or you're not as healthy. I think the idea is that everybody's a little different and you have to determine what kind of body style you have and what are you doing. Some people don't like to exercise. Okay, so we change it around and we, we do more walking and more stretching. You can have a leaner body, a dancer body versus the muscular body. So I think there's normal care to, to your growth cycle, not just preventive care. Why does chiropractic work? Because we are mechanical. But I want you to understand that mechanical component translates into a neurological component. You'll see the older individual in church and their head is shaking or they're, they All right, so we're back here. Sorry for the technical. I think the weather got the internet all crazy. But again, the idea behind why it works is you're creating flexibility to the spine. You're reducing that inflammatory response on the nervous system, and the body is going to express itself better. The idea behind it is that we want to create the best nervous system possible, as well as the best mechanical system. You can't fix a mechanical thing with a chemical and I can't fix a chemical problem with my mechanical thing. That's why as physicians, we should all work together. We all work for you. And yeah, I might push some buttons and say, this is what I think you should do. Ultimately, it's up to you to do it. But again, if you listen to the physician, the medical doctor and the chiropractor, you're gonna have the optimal health. And that's what you're looking for. The least amount of care, both chiropractic and medically. 
you want to use them appropriately. What do you expect when you go to the chiropractor? You're going to come in and we're going to powwow. We're going to talk. You know your own body. They say you're the best physician. And I believe that. I know a lot about the body. And when we sit down and we talk, we find out some information about your body. And I can help you extrapolate what's wrong. You balance your head over your shoulders, over your pelvis, over your feet. So somebody with a neck problem, I'm not only going to look at the the neck, but I'm also going to look at the feet because working on the feet can affect the neck. And that's important for you to understand that the connection, that whole kinetic chain is from top to bottom. And that's why when you come in, you're going to bring in your paperwork in terms of x-rays and chemistries and anything you have. And we're going to sit down and you and I are going to discuss where you are. Are you mild, moderate, or severe? What's wrong? And how are we going to address these problems? not only in the office, but also lifestyle changes and things you can do at home and in the gym to make a better outcome. Posture. When we evaluate you, when you come in, we're always addressing posture because we're in the sitting posture all day long. Sitting is the new smoking. Some of this stuff is real easy. I want you to exercise according to your posture. I want you to turn that posture into a a machine so it reduces irritation to that nervous system so that you're not pinching the nerves. You can see the picture of the man bent over the computer. My biggest thing with massage therapists is massage the front because when you get in that bent posture and the muscles shrink and nobody addresses the front musculature in terms of massage, you could rub the back to the cows come home and you never make progress. If you rub the front, you lengthen the muscles, you, you reduce the stress on the spine and you improve posture. You also reduce pressure on the heart and lung. When you're bent over, it makes the heart and the lungs work harder. And we see in, in the elderly, we see them with respiratory dysfunction. We see them a predisposition for getting pneumonias because you can't expand enough to, to inflate the lungs. So posture is a direct reflection of the health of your body. So don't think of it as poor posture is, is bad the way it looks. It's bad for your health. That's what we're looking at. And when we talk about the spines, everybody that comes to the office, I try to teach them about the regions. There's three regions to the spine. We talked about the three growth cycles, zero to 20 you grow, 20 to 30 you develop or mature, 30 on we start changing. We also have three sections of the spine, neck, mid back, low back. The neck innervates or controls all the nerves from the diaphragm up. The low back does the nerves of bowel, bladder, reproduction, and legs, everything else is in the middle. So when I adjust the low back, I can affect bladder, I can affect bowels. And adjusting the top of the spine, the atlas and axis, that can affect blood pressure, diaphragm above. So when we look at cervical dysfunction, we look at an x-ray and somebody comes in and says, well, I have moderate amounts of arthritis, that's okay. No, because that arthritis will change the nervous system that could alter your blood pressure. And if you can do exercise and you can do postural changes and learn how to sleep better and every once in a while throw an adjustment in there and it lowers your blood pressure, that's a win for you. That's reducing your need for medicine and making your life better. And all the data is out there. You can read it on the screen and, and study that and always call and ask me questions. And again, posture, we look at chronic sinusitis. People say, well, you're just a neck or a back guy. No, it's all connected. You balance your head over your body, over the pelvis, over the feet. If you have forward head posture, that's gonna bring the sinuses forward. They're gonna fill with fluid more often. They're gonna become chronically inflamed and the cycle starts to where you get the chronic sinusitis. If you improve posture, you improve cervical flexibility through the cervical adjustment, then you reduce a lot of symptomatology in the sinuses. It's not that I'm curing sinusitis. I'm making the body work better so it cures itself. And again, that's the whole, ge the whole thing about this thing is understanding that your body is the best doctor and you're the best doctor. You just have to communicate with the physician who you're paying to make sure he you get what you need, that information to heal yourself. Life expectancy has gone down the past four years. That's ridiculous. 
the oldest person in America, we Googled it, 119. There's a veteran, a World War Tour. He's 110, right, Mr. Walker? Yes, sir. Yeah. So the, the idea you were only making 70 is ridiculous. You want to learn that you can use a mechanical medicine to help not only posture and nerves, but some of the other things associated with like chronic sinusitis. Or we could talk about hearing loss, vertigo, or tinnitus, or tinnitus. Epley's maneuver. Anybody who's had vertigo, again, poor posture, a reflection of poor cervical health, Epley's maneuver, you're on your back, you turn your head left and right, you open up the joints, they say you're creating crystal stabilization. I don't know about the ear stabilization as much as the joints and the neck, but along with the adjustment in Epley's maneuver, all of a sudden vertigo is gone. Again, understanding that the chiropractor is not treating vertigo per se, we're treating the health of the body. We're treating the, uh, we're treating the, the movement of the joints. We're treating the nervous system. That's the best thing. You don't need to do the old person shuffle. If you get an adjustment, you learn how to exercise, you use the physicians that you're paying for in the right way so they're working for you, you're maximizing your results, you're gonna get the best outcomes. And that's what we want here. Like I said, you come in anytime, you say the magic word, Mr. Walker, we'll give you that free gift and more information that you ever dreamed about, especially about your health. Remember, neck innovates everything from the diaphragm up. Mid-back, digestion, pancreas, gallbladder, Low back, bowel, bladder, reproduction, and legs. So the other day, somebody had come in. She was an athlete. She got a low back herniation at 21 in college. They did a, a discectomy. So that she had the first surgical procedure in her low back. Then they put an artificial disc in her low back after the discectomy failed. And then finally, by the 30s, she's in a total fusion. She calls me, the chiropractor, not knowing what chiropractic is, never experiencing chiropractic care. She doesn't know whether she wants chiropractic or acupuncture. All she knows is she has a back issue and she hurts. She comes in and I evaluate her. We have a big discussion. We look at what's wrong. We look at the way she can function because of the changes surgically. We get new diagnostics because it's always findings, not feelings. Every physician should be showing you your findings. You should be understanding your findings. You should make them read to you your findings, explain them to it. So she comes in. She's working with me for a month. Remember, low back does bowel, bladder, reproduction, legs. She goes away for a little while, a family vacation, comes back, and she tells me, she says, hey, by the way, I just found out that I'm pregnant. And my husband and I were trying for the longest time, but we had given up on the thought of having a baby because it wasn't happening. She started chiropractic care four weeks or five weeks ago, and then all of a sudden now she's four weeks pregnant. Was it the chiropractic? No, it's the nervous system. It's the body doing what it does. She focused on her instability. We got the right diagnostics. She started doing home care. We did a little bit of chiropractic. We did a little bit of home acupuncture. And all of a sudden the body gave her what she wanted. So here's a gal that came in for low back pain and the nerves were actually turned on and she got the outcome that she didn't expect to have and now she's blessed with the child. That's the thing that I love about chiropractic. Understanding that I didn't do it, the body did it on, on its own. So now with this young lady, we're gonna go and she happens to be mid 40s, so she's starting again. She's already has a few other children and now we can work with her through her pregnancy to get the best care possible for her even with the low back surgery. We have the husband working on the legs. She has coal packs when she needs it. She has me as a resource 24 seven if she needs me. And she'll probably have one of the best experience even with the difficulty of the low back. And hopefully as we go through this pregnancy with her that she'll get better and better. And by the time the pregnancy is finished, the back pain will be finished as well. Not that she's not gonna have recurrences in her life. She's surgical. She's had procedures, she can, but we want her to be 100% of whatever she has there. And that's the goal, having the physician work for you. That's the thing. So remember, we've been talking about this whole idea of the nervous system. When you go to the chiropractor, 
yeah, we worry about the muscles, bones, and ligaments, but biggest thing is the nerves. People come in for pain. That's a sign or symptom of the nervous system. You know, I'll ask people um, about their legs and they'll say, well, they're cold and tingly. I have a circulatory problem. No, circulation is color. Tingle, cold, numbness, that's the whole nervous system. That's again, looking to the low back or looking to the neck. So when, when somebody says my son has ADD or ADHD and they're going for chiropractic care, they're scratching their head is why would a chiropractor do that? The chiropractor isn't treating per se the ADD or the ADHD. He's treating the nervous system. The better expression of the nervous system, the healthier the child. And again, my opinion, chiropractic care works better earlier because you're in the growth cycle. You don't have to grow an arthritic body. You can grow a healthier body. And I think, again, with these kids, you watch them carrying backpacks and sitting at the computer and, and laying distorted watching television. And they're not exercising. They're not doing any balance or proprioception to develop the postural strength or the, the balance and proprioception that, that's going to aid to good spinal support. So again, we're looking to the nervous system and adjusting the, the spine and adjusting the, the segments of the spine, arms, and legs, and whatever, to maximize the results of the nervous system. We're not treating ADD or ADHD. We're treating the body, and the body will minimize the instability. That's what you're doing, right? You come in with a back pain, a flare-up, and you're all hot and bothered, and we're going to minimize that. I didn't fix the problem per se. I fixed the body's ability to handle the instability. That's my opinion on it. Again, we're looking at anxiety. We're looking at depression. We're looking at stress, the nervous system. When you come in here, we're going to talk about nutrition. We're going to talk about how you're going to eat to be anti-inflammatory. The idea of, are you protein deficient? Most people, I say, what's a protein? They can't even identify the protein, but proteins control water. Water causes the inflammation and the inflammation burns the nerve and that creates stress in itself. And stress is an important factor of life, but it's not always bad. If you, if you have somebody that's pinned down under a car, you can be as strong as, as Superman and lift that car up. You've heard those stories. That's a stressful situation, but that's a good stress. You know? And wherever that stress that person has, that instability, God shows you that instability with stress. So when I was in chiropractic school and people were nervous and they were stressed, and the people who had a, a GI problem, they went to the bathroom. People who had bladder problems had to pee. People who were nervous and smoked had to smoke. People who had a nervous thing to eat, they would eat. Whatever the, your instability is, stress usually brings it out. It doesn't always have to be a bad thing, but you want to manage the nervous system. And eating well and exercising and getting an adjustment or, or talking to the car about what manual procedures I can do at home to help my body, that's going to optimize your health. That's going to make you live a long, happy, healthy life without the, the need of drugs or, or surgery. Again, we're looking at different conditions that chiropractic doesn't cure, but minimizes the expressions of problems. If you have asthma where you're getting constriction in the thoracic or the, or the uh, rib cage area, if you have less flexibility because your posture is poor, you're not exercising, an adjustment can release that tension and it's going to make the muscles better. It's going to work easier. You're going to be able to breathe. We see a lot of old, older people come in with that forward head posture. We put a pulse ox or a, a measure of the oxygen on your finger and they're, they're hypoxic. Their oxygenation is low. You start increasing the adjustments to increase spinal mobility. I send him to the massage therapist and we talk about rubbing the front of the body to reduce the muscle spasms. And all of a sudden we retest them and oxygenation is up. It's not that they're not gonna have an asthma attack. They can, and when you do, you want that medical doctor. You want, that, you want the puffer like the young lady is using in, in the, uh, on the screen. As a nurse, it'd be irresponsible for me to say that no one should use that pu puffer. You use everything mechanically and chemically to preserve your life and your health. That's paramount. That's your job. And our job is to support that and give you the tools that you need to get the job done. That's what healthcare is, not always crisis intervention. We want you to understand that, that healthcare is paramount. And that's what I think we're not offering enough of. You come here, you say, Mr. Walker, 
we're going to give you that free gift and we're going to teach you about healthcare, not always crisis intervention. That's what Lamar Chiropractic is all about. Digestion. I, I can't tell you how many times we talk about digestion in terms of the anti-inflammatory diet. I'll ask people, what kind of pill is Advil? Painkiller. No, it's an anti-inflammatory. And then we talk about how you can eat anti-inflammatory, a protein, carb, and a fat. And I say to them, a protein, beef, poultry, beans, pork, or fish, fat, olive oil, coconut oil, and, and everything else is a carb. You want to have that protein in your diet to control the water. Every meal should have a protein. Cheerios is not a, is not a good meal. It's if, you're a, if I'm working the floor as a nurse and somebody is in crisis with their blood sugar, it's too low, I'm giving them a bowl of cereal. They're going to get a bigger carb rush and a bigger sugar rush with that bowl of Cheerios than they would with a glass of orange juice. So eating anti-inflammatory, anti getting the adjustment for anti-inflammatory, and using functional medicine, the new Mediterranean diet in my opinion, supplementing the, the lack of nutrient density in our foods with fish oils and vitamin D to help the body heal itself, that's the, the goal. That's how you stay away from the medicine. And I think everybody, you come in, you say, Mr. Walker, we're going to talk about the probiotics. We're going to talk about the digestive enzymes and how along with the adjustment, that's going to maximize your health. And again, I know I'm throwing a lot at you, but it's understanding the complexity of the body that I think we're not teaching enough of about how nerves do sensory pain, motor or muscle, and then your insides. If I see atrophy in your hands from a degenerated neck, that's going to translate into maybe a heart dysfunction. And then if you look at diabetes that affects the, um, the sugar levels, right? The idea is that we, we have neuropathies. People are coming in all the time. You get a neuropathy or tingling in the, of the nerves in your legs from arthritis, but you also get it from diabetes and you also get it from chemotherapy. So chiropractic care isn't treating the diabetes. We're treating the neuropathies. We're treating the changes in the tissues so that you don't have the tingling. So you, you can walk and you, you can express the best health possible. If you aren't moving, you're decaying. You've got to keep moving. And if you don't treat the spine and you don't address the diabetes and the other components, how do you drive? I ask people all the time, they come in and they go, I have a neuropathy in my legs. Can you treat it? Yes, we can help. We can work with chiropractic and manual medicine to help with neuropathy. But my question is, how did you get here? If you can't feel your feet, how did you drive that car? And if you, if you get into an accident, how do you substantiate the fact that you were driving when you can't feel your feet and you hurt this person? So there's more to it. Understand, do I have an uh, osteoarthritis? Do I have degeneration? Do I have a blood sugar issue? Did I have chemotherapy? And how are my nerves feeling? How am I functioning? What's my diet like? And what can I do to minimize this so that I don't have the issues? And if you do have in the future, say you were, you were in a car accident and somebody did question you, I, as a chiropractor, would be questioning you. Um, you could say, I'm treating my neuropathy with diet, exercise, chiropractic, nutritional. And you're going to minimize that neuropathy. And I can't tell you how many people are, are glad when they see the chiropractor and we're talking about other things than just neurontin for neuropathies. So you can see that a lot of people are talking about chiropractic care and the benefits of it. It's, and I'm passionate, I will agree. But I want you to take away that posture is a reflection of your health. Chiropractic works on the entire body. Well, I'm not treating diabetes. I'm not treating cancer. I'm treating the effects of those diseases on the body and trying to maximize the body's performance so that you don't get these things. I don't believe, again, that you should be old and infirmed. I think that with a little bit of manual care and a little bit of chemical care and a little bit of surgical care and us all working for you, you can be well into your hundreds easily. And I think if we minimize the crazy societal things like sitting and junk food and McDonald's, I think that ultimately also adds to health. Again, understanding that chiropractic care is the manual component of healthcare. It's not complementary. It's part of healthcare. There's no such thing as maintenance care because I would be maintaining 21. Trust me, 
21 is a lot easier to do things than at 58 or 59. So the idea is there's this normal care. Normal care from the misalignments that are created from abnormal postures, from chemical assault from our bodies, from the stresses that we do, from degenerative changes in our body, from osteoarthritis. There's so many different things. Again, you come in here, we're going to have a conversation and we're going to talk and we're going to look at everything you have. I want you to be as educated as possible. So you're questioning the medical doctor. You're questioning the chiropractor. I love when people come in and say, what about this, this, and this? Because I know they're educated and I do work for them. All the doctors should work for them. You pay us to perform a job to give you the ultimate health. And yeah, I push some buttons, but I also get results. And again, you don't have to take everything. You know, somebody says, well, I'm only going to take, you know, my fish oil 60% of the time. But you're 60% better than you were if you didn't do anything. That's, the, that's what we're looking for. Again, and have the, 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 the desire to be healthy because it takes work. It really does. So I, I hope with this presentation, you can see that there's more to chiropractic care than just cracking backs and cracking necks. The other thing is you shouldn't be able to crack your own back and neck. I guess that's another webinar. Um, when you see that, you tell them, go to the chiropractor. Um, but there's so much more. Again, I always love when you come in and you ask questions. It's findings based, not feelings. It's information. We give you the information. We'll give you the tests. It's true expression of health. The, the goal is, is 80s, 90s, and 100s with a minimal amount of medical intervention as possible with a plan and, and, a, and a, an organization where you can develop a structure that minimizes the, the adversity and maximizes your results and it is easy to do. You can have wonders. I had a lady the other day came in and we just changed the way she ate and she's dropped from 270 to 250 easily. And she's ecstatic. And we just changed a few things, a little bit of adjustments here, and she's happy and moving better than ever before. Again, feel free anytime, come and challenge me. Say the magic word, Mr. Walker, for your free gift. Mention our um, webinar to your friends. We're here to serve, we'll do whatever it takes. We want you to be healthy. We want you to become that educated consumer and challenge the doctors. Read your reports. If you have any questions, bring your reports in. We'll go over them. There's no charge for reading reports. And like I said, if you have any questions, feel free to, to email me, come in, or ask. Have a blessed day, and I appreciate your patience. Look at the reference list. And um, I just thank you so much for my first webinar. It's been challenging but enjoyable. Have a great evening.